So I've been asked a lot today whether or not we can trust AI. Now, there are two sides to this answer. Can we trust the output that AI is creating and generating? And can we actually trust the technology itself? And when we look at the latter question, there are some very surprising answers, so stick around. But we'll go in order. Now, whether or not you can trust the output that AIs are producing today, not really. I always suggest that you should actually check everything that's being produced because it's well known that large language models like ChatGPT, Claude Anthropic, even Baidu's Ernie and so on and so forth in China actually hallucinate. Now, in human language, that means that they bullshit and make stuff up or they make mistakes. So we can't actually trust the outputs of these systems. However, it, whether or not we trust them or whether or not we care too much about the content that they actually produce and whether it is trustworthy depends on the content that we're producing. So if I use an artificial intelligence to write a blog on the future of innovation and it makes a couple of mistakes, then okay, does anyone really care? But if that same AI is making mistakes when it comes to cancer treatments or whatever it happens to be, we certainly do care. So we kind of have grades of caring on that front. Now, when we have a look at the question of whether or not we can trust the technology itself, today, the technology is a blank slate. You know, we can use it to manipulate people or we can use it to benefit people. However, OpenAI have a new project going called Strawberry. And I've been tracking this particular trend now for about seven years. It's a trend called effective computing. Now, what we mean by effective computing is the ability of computer and computer systems, including artificial intelligence, to understand your emotions and then manipulate you. Now, with Project Strawberry, Project Strawberry is all about trying to create trustworthy artificial intelligence. It's almost like a new class of AI that increasingly is kind of being given the moniker of social intelligence. Now, when you think about this, on the one hand, it's in a lot of the big tech giants' interests for you to trust their artificial intelligences, because the more you trust those AIs, the more you automate your workloads to those AIs, the more you spend with those companies. However, the downside of this particular technology or this development is if we have malicious actors who are trying to develop trustworthy AI, then that means that these AIs are going to be better scammers. So to give you an example there, an artificial intelligence using machine vision, like the camera basically that I'm talking to here, can see whether or not I trust it. You know, I have inflections in my voice, I have microfacial movements and all kinds of ticks that can kind of give the artificial intelligence prompts, which it can then analyze to create a grade of how much or how little I actually trust it. And if it figures out that I actually don't trust it very much, then it can change, if it's a conversational AI, it can change its tone. If it's a digital human, it can change its body language, its posture, its facial movements and everything else. So as we start moving from a point in time where the conversations are simply about, can we trust the outputs that artificial intelligence is creating to can we actually trust the technology itself there are some very, very big existential questions that we actually need to get our heads around. Regulators need to be thinking about this question now, and we need to be producing guidelines now to ensure basically that people trust AI for the right reasons and not the wrong reasons. So if you want to know more on that topic, just DM me, uh, like hash, you know, tag fanatical futurist and all that kind of stuff, and I'll speak to you on the next one. Goodbye.